Hello, my name's Sarah Jane Honeywell and you're watching Bay TV and tonight we are at the Leap Dance Festival which is coordinated by MDI. It's taking place through the whole of March so join me as we dance the night away. We've got a wonderful video for you now. It's by MGI, it's called A Moving Story and it's fabulous. My journey with MDI has been a wonderful journey. MDI has provided me with a whole range of experiences and opportunities. When I look back, I realize that MDI has actually been a catalyst for me at significant points in my career. Uh, they've just provided the right support, given me the right opportunity to take my work to the next level. And in recent years, what they've done for me is really made me look at dance in a wider context, to go beyond the performance work and to really look at dance in the community and to look at my role within that. MDI is a really important resource for dance professionals and participants in dance in the northwest of England. They play such a crucial role in Liverpool and we're really looking forward to seeing the fruition of their ambition for a dance building in Liverpool that will support all the artists and all the people who love dance in that region. We need to make sure that we don't lose the talent uh, from the city and that it's, it's uh, taken to the next level and MDI can do that. MDI has helped me to set up my company China Po and supported and commissioned my work. They have helped raise the profile of Chinese dance. It's been wonderful to work with them. DBA Physical Theatre. We're super excited to be in Liverpool for the first time and rehearsing at MDI Studios. And we're supporting MDI's vision for a dance house for the city of Liverpool. I love MDI. It's great for mind, body and spirit. I get up in the morning, I'm 73, I get up with all the aches and pains that we have at our age. I come here, the music starts, and I'm young again. It was really a milestone for our company to present uh, the premiere of a special piece for me, Bahok, in the Liverpool City of Culture in 2008. I mean, thank you very much, MDI. You were so helpful when we brought those 16 students to work with all of the community organizations in your city. Heroes, hail, hail to Liverpool. Go MDI. MDI have supplied me with so many kind of resources to enable my work not only to grow but to kind of flourish within the sector. They've commissioned new work, um, they've supported research projects and they've provided me with so many numerous opportunities for performances. I kind of remember MDI when it was just a dream. Everybody felt that we needed something at the centre of all the interesting activities of dance that was happening to give a focus to really um, promote and keep the light of dance burning, which can inspire. And I'm absolutely grateful that we have got MDI in Merseyside. And thanks to all the people who has helped MDI to become what it is today.
I'm thrilled now to introduce you to Karen Gallagher, who's the Artistic Director at MDI, and she's going to tell us exactly why the Leap Dance Festival is so wonderful. Karen. Hi, Sarah Jane. Hello, can you tell us a bit about the Leap Dance Festival? Absolutely. MDI is the dance organisation of Liverpool, and we bring Leap Festival every two years. It started um, probably in about 2002 and was going every year, but now it's a biennial event, and um, we're really excited to have Liverpool bringing some fantastic artists to the city. Um, the, the event itself is made up of lots of things. It's made up of companies coming and performing their work in the city, alongside people taking part, alongside people talking about dance. So it's a whole mixed experience for a variety of people. Well, I love to dance, so I just wondered if I wanted to get involved, how would I go about doing that? Well, absolutely. You can actually come and see somewhere because I think it's always so wonderful to actually get to see dance. We don't get to do that enough in, in Liverpool, so it's great that we've got a lot of events that you can come see at various venues. But also in our Studio 24 on Hope Street, we've got a lot of activity happening throughout the whole month of March. Workshops, professional level, open level, opportunities for young people to take part in dance. And we've also got a number of conversations, so we're going to be talking to various companies from around Europe about their experiences of making dance in different countries. Fabulous and, and, and so it doesn't matter what level of dance you're at you can still get involved even if you've never danced before you can get involved. Oh no absolutely to take part at any level but also to come and see dance you know just come and have a go and also tell us about it so you can tweet about it you can Facebook us about it let us know how you've enjoyed it let, let us know if you've even seen the brochure at all anything to kind of engage with us will be fantastic. It sounds wonderful Karen what sort of dance if we want to come along to some of the stuff that's going on at Leap over March can we expect to see will it be ballet, jazz, contemporary? Predominantly the festival is a contemporary dance festival, but we will also have kind of influences kind of from Africa and various other parts of Europe. So it's a mixed bag really. We've got things like Panic Lab doing a whole take on superheroes. We've got um, Company Basuku who will be doing an African contemporary mix. Then we've got lots of other comp companies um, developing lots of different styles in the studio. We've got our work in terms of our health and well-being. So we'll be featuring work with people who are living with Parkinson's and working with dementia in our studio. We'll be showing films. So there's a, a lot of things that people can engage with. And, and what sort of age group um, can come along, or is it for everybody? It's for everybody, absolutely, especially, especially the seeing. There'll be kind of age, age levels for some particular classes, but it is, there is something for everybody in this particular festival. It's going to be an absolute delight, and I do hope everybody comes along and enjoys it. Well, it sounds wonderful, and if, if we do want to get involved, how can we find out about what's going on? Well, if you contact us at the office at MDI on 0151 708 8810, or you can say that one more time, that was quite fast. 0151 708 8810, or on our website, www.mdi.org.uk, or again, check our you know, Twitter feed, um, at MDI Studio 24. There's a whole wealth of places that you can kind of find out about us. You can get our online brochure, or you can come and get one by hand from our studio. So there's lots of different ways you can engage and find out what's going on. And by phoning you or looking on your website, which is mdi.org.uk, will we be able to find out um, if there's a special performance going on? Is that going to be on the website as well as classes that we can take part in? Oh, absolutely. So the whole brochure is online, so you can kind of tick through that. There are various... Um, venues that are taking part in the events such as the Unity Theatre, the Capstone Theatre as well as kind of further, further along um, the Atkinson in Southport, the Arts Centre in Ormskirk. So wherever you're living there's something for you to see on your doorstep I hope. Wonderful, so it's all over Merseyside? That's right, it is all over Merseyside. How fabulous. Well, it sounds wonderful and we're going to take a break now but if you join us after the break you can hear so much more about the Leap Dance Festival. Welcome back to Bay TV, where we're looking at the Leap Dance Festival, and I'm just about to interview some of the artists and the staff from the MDI Dance Academy. We're having a great time here tonight with Bay TV at the Leap Dance Festival, and I'm very excited because I've got Jeff here, and he's going to tell me how he's involved with Leap and MDI. Jeff, how are you, how are you involved? Um, we're indirectly involved with MDI. Um, we put a nap into Liverpool last year and it, it works with arts and culture and this year 
we are back in MDI and the Dance House and also Leap Festival. So what's your app called and how do we download it? Uh, the app's called IMAT app and it, it works in all the cultural institutions in Liverpool. It works with beacons, so as you go into an environment, it gives you more content. So it's like getting voiceovers as you're walking around, it gives you more content, it gives you insight of what you're trying to see. And it works with Leap Festival because when you go to one of their dances, we can give you more information about the dancer, some videos, etc. So it's, it's an insight tool into arts and culture. Sounds genius and great if you live in Liverpool or even if you're just visiting. What's it called again? I'm at Act. And it is going to be in other cities from June this year as well. Fabulous. So if you want to check out more about the Leap Dance Festival by MDI, it's called... I'm at App. I'm at App. Download it now. It sounds fabulous. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go and speak to Rachel and Jenny, who are part of the MDI team. Hi, um, Rachel, can you tell us what you do at MDI? Um, I'm the Project Development Manager at MDI. Um, I uh, work with Karen, uh, supporting her on the artistic programme, um, and also work with the community dance team, um, kind of managing um, a lot of our health and wellbeing and community engagement work. And do you try and cover everything um, at MDI? So, um, you know, from people with maybe disabilities to people who are, who are very good at dance to people who they just kind of want to do it just to get out of the house? We really try, um, you can't please everybody all the time, but we really try and make sure that we have activities that are accessible to anybody, uh, no matter what age, no matter what their cultural background, um, what, their, what their physicality and mobility are, um, and all the different levels, like you said, from people who are just starting out. We have drop-in classes that are open to anybody. Um, uh, we have kind of intermediate classes, and we have professional level classes as well in various different forms. It must be great fun. And how's Le how, how much do you love Leap Festival? Um, it's always a really exciting time. Um, um, it's great when we have artists visiting the city, um, lots of activity in the studio um, and professional level classes so we can see the talented artists from Liverpool kind of developing their skills and, and starting to create work themselves. That's always a really exciting. Amazing. Thank you, Rachel. Don't go anywhere because I'd now like to speak to the lovely Jenny. Jenny, can you tell us what you do at MDI? Yeah, yeah. I'm a community dance artist, so I deliver a lot of the classes in the studio as well as outreach work. Um, I So I teach from parents and toddlers groups up to I have an over 50s class as well which I think the eldest is 75 in that group so we have quite a big range and um, I teach the open contemporary classes so yeah general public just come into class I then also organize workshops classes and um, different events that we have in you know in the studio again or in our outreach work so amazing and um, do you ever put on performances for people to go to the general public that they can go along and see? Well, yeah, like mainly during LEAP when we have LEAP Festival or we have different events through the year. So we do a lot of, um, we have another festival called City Steps that happens every two years. So that happens in the city centre and we kind of pop up in unusual places. So um, we have performances in shop windows or down Church Street or down at the Pierhead. Um, and then we also do quite large scale events so we have things like big dance we're also part of been part of light night so we've had performances again at the Anglican Cathedral and Liverpool one so yeah sounds amazing I want to dance in a shop window I'm I want to be there for that it's great like it's fun because it's a real because uh, I am also a performer so and it's nice to get other pe different people's reactions you know they're not expecting to see something and there you are in the window so yeah it's a real good to get um, audience reaction okay now my cam my lovely camera lady is going to kill me for this but can you show me a move quickly can you teach me a move <laughs> quick one a quick one come on teach me one just teach me a little step yes 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 Okay, okay, one moment, I'll just... Step forward, quite well. 
Step forward. Type that one. Okay, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So get yourself down to Leap Festival and MDI and learn how to dance because it's so much fun. Thank you, ladies. You've been immense. We'll speak to someone else now. Come on. I'm very excited now because we're going to chat to Lizzie, who's one of the main choreographers at LEAP. Hello, Lizzie. Hi there. Hi. Lizzie, can you tell us what you've done um, um, surrounding the LEAP Festival and, and what sort of dance you do? Okay, so uh, my main dance kind of background is in contemporary dance and that's kind of developed over the years. Um, more theatrical, more kind of physical theatre and more site specific based stuff. So um, my involvement in the LEAP Festival this year is part of the uh, Moving Dance Forward Associate Artist Scheme. It's a big mouthful, isn't it? Um, so I've kind of been given a bit of funding this year to develop my work in the studio. So I kind of do a lot of big outside performance, but this year I've kind of been concentrating on some smaller parts of kind of work with dancers. Um, so you'll probably see small amounts of like little uh, excerpts, maybe a little bit of footage, a little bit of um, somebody playing and maybe singing over the top of some smaller solos, trios and maybe duets in alternative venues as opposed to in the theatre itself. Okay, now I think we saw one of your dancers tonight. I think she was the girl with the hat in the that's corner, right. was that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So is that the sort of thing we can be looking forward to seeing in the, with your involvement with Leap this year? That's correct, yeah. So um, whilst you're maybe having a drink before the show, you might kind of turn around and, and maybe Lauren, who was just performing this evening, might be kind of working in a corner, usually in a corner, so that she's kind of out of the way. Um, I love that, it's, it's like integrated art. Yeah, yeah. Um, and possibly with maybe one of the artists who's kind of singing on the top of that, it's an original piece of music. So hopefully she'll be in some of the performances as well, so singing with her guitar. Um, so it's kind of like going to be slightly different for me this year rather than sort of just putting something in front of the sort of in the black box as it were. And are you mainly working with dancers from MDI or will you be working with other artists from other associations? Um, mainly from this area. Um, I have been working with people who are further afield but they've been based here at one time or another. So the, the dancers that I'm using are very much kind of northern based dancers. Yeah. So. And, and can we find out where they'll be on the MGI website? Um, they will be in the, it's called Moving Dance Forward. Um, so it, I think it's abbreviated in the kind of brochure the night that we're on. But we may very well pop up at some of the other venues as well. Okay, so if you want to see any of Lizzie's work, then you need to look in the Moving Dance Bro Forward, forward yeah. Moving Dance Forward brochure. <laughs> Lizzie, you've been amazing. I cannot wait to see some of your work. I think you're going to spice up Liverpool for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah. people here at the start of the Leap Dance Festival and now we're going to meet Maxine who's part of the MDI team. Hello Maxine, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. Now can you tell me what you do at MDI? Yeah, um, I'm a community dance artist and um, my one of my main roles is to work with African people's dance. So um, what I'm doing is promoting all different forms of black dance from right across the African diaspora. That sounds really exciting. Now can anyone do this? Well, anyone can do it. Um, it's not easy. You can come, you can get trained. Um, part of my role is I do a lot of training, I do teaching, um, and I do a lot of work around dance and health, um, and just about people's general well-being. So, um, depending on which way you're coming from to come and learn it, it's not really that difficult. Um, and what sort of what can I expect to do at a class? Will it, do I need to be really um, supple, or do I need to be really young? Because I'm not really young. No, you definitely don't need to be really young. You can be any age to do um, African Caribbean dance, any age whatsoever. You don't have to be extremely supple. And um, because we've got such a really good pool of teachers, um, the teachers make everything simple for whatever level you're coming in at. What can we expect to see at the Leap Dance Festival um, as part of the African Caribbean 
Um, well, we've got a really, really interesting day coming up called Cultivate. And Cultivate Day, we're going to be having um, a short seminar with a really amazing woman called Mrs. Knock, Professor Noxola. And she's coming from Birmingham University. And she's going to be talking about things like, um, about what it's like, about, about black bodies dancing in, in, um, in different cultures. Um, and I think her whole project's called Dancing Maps. So it's about looking at um, African dance physically, from the choreographer's point of view, from the dancer's point of view, and from the viewer. And so, can someone from any culture do that? Like, for example, could I do that? Yeah, 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 you definitely could do African dance from any culture. It doesn't matter what culture you are, it's about the dance and the movement that you're learning. It sounds amazing. I really, really want to do that. Thank you so, so much. And uh, expect to see me at a class. Thank you, Max. I'm looking forward to seeing you at a class very soon. What a wonderful festival Leap promises to be. If you want to find out more, then go to the MDI website, which is mdi.org.uk. Thank you so much for joining me here at Bay TV. We hope we see you again very soon.